Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. This is episode 30 in my creation kit series. Uh, this time we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, a lot of the times when you're making mods and you have to pack the mods up, you have to take and go into the go into your folders. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you what I mean. You got to go into your folders and you have to grab all the different grab all the different things uh, I'm gonna open that back up I'm gonna drop that to the taskbar right quick so I can show you what I'm doing and it can be a hassle packing up your mods and so creation kit gives you the option of creating an arc a BSA archive or creating an archive and be able to upload it to Steam now for this one we're going to use the create archive just create archive program what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make the BSA now the thing about making a BSA though is that it doesn't creation kits for some reason doesn't export the face gen data of your NPCs now as you can see here in the object window I have three NPCs in my Amhis Lounge remake that I'm doing. I ha uh, two of them are vanilla, uh, the blacksmith and the merchant, and then one is a standalone character. Now, when I make the NPC, when I make the BSA for it, the face gen data for these three NPCs isn't there. So what'll happen is is you will end up with for in the case of the vanilla NPCs you will end up with the dark face bug and that's no good uh, in the case of like uh, a standalone NPC you're gonna end up with the dark face bug and it's probably gonna screw up everything else too and I'm not sure exactly how it would look. I'm not going to try it because I don't want to mess it up. But I'm going to show you how to fix that so that the BSAs uh, load up correctly. So the first thing you want to do is click on File, click on Create Archive. And you got to give it a second. Okay, and the reason you have to give it a second is is because it goes through and it collects up all of the meshes and textures and scripts for your as you can see it's different scripts here for your BSA the one thing it doesn't do is collect your um, face gen data so how this is how you fix it you open up your data folder you go into meshes, go into actors, character, face gen data, and go into your the name of your uh, mod, name of your ESP, and you'll see the face gen data here. Now you don't want to you don't want to add the NIF back file for like standalone files. You just want just these right here. So and then you just drag them over. And drop them in and we'll go ahead and slide down here and as you can see this is here but these are the meshes now you're gonna need the textures so we'll go into textures actors character face gen data click through to our ESP and now these here some of these are tag files so you need that one and that one you don't need the TGA files. Uh, it doesn't recognize them anyway, so just go ahead and drop those in there. And this is a tag file too. Yep. All right. So we'll scroll down here, and now what we got here is is it shows the meshes for the different face gen here, and you just drag them in from your folder and drop them into this window and then you click pack files and it'll say 
real quick, we're going to go ahead. Uh, you might want to go ahead and copy your ESP just to be on the safe side and then paste it on the desktop so you don't lose it. Because sometimes what it will do is that it will cause your ESP to just simply disappear. And you just click save and it should make your BSA for you. It could take quite a while depending on the size of your mod. So we'll go ahead and pick this up when it's done. And sometimes it will say that the archive process has failed, but let's go ahead and open up my folder here, my data folder. And as you can see, it hasn't failed, but as I thought, my ESP just disappeared. Uh, one way to fix that is to just go ahead and hit cancel and then resave your ESP and once it's saved you open up your data folder there's your ESP right there so now we've got the BSA file and the ESP file so let's go ahead and copy the BSA file we'll copy that and we're gonna go to I'm gonna go to, to my desktop I got a folder here I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paste that right in there now if you have a BSA browser which you should probably have we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open this with BSA browser it'll give you all this we're gonna extract all and I'm just gonna extract it to this new folder and let that let that go do its thing it's got 300 files in it close that and now we have the meshes scripts and textures the meshes we got the meshes from the lounge and the ones I used for my TC mansion and for actors we got actor character face gen data face Joe and there it is right and there's what you need right there so this is how you pack face gen data into your BSAs and there and there is the face gen jet data for like my standalone follower Sarah that I put into this mod and this is the face gen data for the orc blacksmith and this is the face gen data for the Khajiit but that's how you do that okay and that's all there is to it now when you pack it up into a when you pack it up into a uh, upload folder what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to let's I'll, I'll, I'll do this real quick okay I don't need that and I'm gonna just rename this Amhist v3 this is this is just a this is oh no 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 okay we'll try this I, I, I already had one is what it was Amhest ver 3 there that'll work alright now you want in that you want to put in a new folder and you want to name that data and then in the data folder what you want to do is, is you want to have your BSA and I'm not sure if you need the BSL file but we're gonna grab it anyway and your ESP copy those drop that in your new data folder just like that and it's done that's all you need to do there and then you make your zip file your 7z file or your zip file whatever you want to use we'll click on that and if you need a program for making 7z files bitser is probably about the best one it takes a takes a little while so we'll go ahead and pause and wait for that okay that's all done and as you can see here we got the amhist version 3 and it's 98 me 98 megabytes total and now it's ready for upload to the Nexus. 
But that's all there is to that. There's really nothing else. All right, guys. This has been episode 30 of my Creation Kit series. I hope that you guys found this uh, tutorial useful. If you did, remember to hit that thumbs up button then share it on social media with your friends. It really helps out the channel. And if you haven't done it yet, remember to click that bell to receive notifications of when I upload a new video. And until next time, guys, remember to keep your sword sharp. Don't be a milk drinker. And always watch the skies, traveler.